Hello friends, welcome to MSOP Webcast and in today's video demonstration, I will show you how to create a group policy object in Active Directory and link it to OU. GPO can be created and managed using the group policy management console. The configuration settings can be edited using the group policy object editor console. The group policy management console is present by default on domain controllers or can be installed as a part of remote server administration tools on member server or on a client computer. So to create a GPO, first of all, you will need to log on with a user account that has permission to create a new group policy object in Active Directory. For the purpose of this demonstration, I will log in to my server as a domain administrator's credential. So as you can see, currently I am logging on this system as an administrator account. Now the next things, you have to open a group policy management console. To do that, on uh, server manager dashboard, click on tools and select group policy management console. Already I pinned this to my taskbar so we can easily open from the taskbar. In the left pane of a group policy management console, expand your forest, then expand your domains, then expand your domain name that is mylab.local in our case and then expand group policy objects. The GPO that currently exists in the domain appear in a contents tab here where we can see two GPOs named default domain policy and default domain controller policy. Default domain policy is linked with our domain and the default domain controller policy GPO is already linked with all domain controller in our domain. So to create a new GPO, you have to right click on a group policy object and then select new. Specify the name of your GPO. Let's specify the name sample GPO. Click on OK. Now click on your newly created GPO. In our case, it will be your sample GPO. Now next, let's uh, edit the group policy object. To do that, just right click on it and select edit. Single group policy object can consist of one or many individual group policy settings. The group policy management console presents the many group policy settings that are available for use in several categories. The more you work with group policy, the more these categories will begin to make a sense. When you first get started, you can expect to spend a lot of time getting through the list of policies to find the specific one which you are looking for. So for the testing purpose, in this example, I am going to hide Glock from the system notification area which can be located under user configuration. Then you have to expand policies. Then you have to expand administrative templates and under administrative templates, you can find start menu and taskbar. Now these are the settings which are available under start menu and taskbar. Let's find the settings which we are looking for. And as you can see, here we have a settings, remove clock from the system notification area. Just double click on it. It will open another menu. Remove clock from system notification area. By default, it is not configured and let's enable these settings. If you enable these settings, the clock will not be displayed in the system notification area. Let's click on apply. Let's click on OK. And as you can see, the setting is currently enabled. Click on close. And if you click on a settings, it will generate a report. Click on add, click on add and click on close. Under user configuration, as you can see, we have a setup policy name remove clock from system notification area and which is currently enabled. So once you create an edit GPO, now the next step is let's link this GPO to particular OU. And in this demonstration, already under Active Directory, I created one OU name Surat and under that we have a one user name user1. So let's attach the GPO to our Surat OU. Under your domain, you can see all your OU will be listed over here. And we want to attach this GPO to Surat. To attach a group policy object to particular OU, just right click on it and select link and existing GPO. You can also create a new GPO in this domain and link it to particular OU from the menu. But you want to link an existing GPO, that's why I'm going to select link an existing GPO. Now all the GPOs available under your domain, it will be displayed over here. As you can see, we have a three GPO. Default domain control policy, default domain policy and sample GPO. We want to link sample GPO, that's why I'm going to select sample GPO and then click on OK. And as you can see, the sample GPO is linked with uh, our OU name Surat and here's the shortcut. Let's uh, delete. Now as you can see, it will give us a message. Do you want to delete this link? This will not delete the GPO itself. It will just delete the attachment. Click on OK and as you can see, we have a still sample GPO. 
you can also attach a particular gpo by dragging onto on your container so let's drop on surat it will again gives us a message do you want to link the gpo that you have selected to this ou click on okay and that's it now if you click on sample gpo click on scope and under you can also find the following site domain and ou's are linked to this gpo now let's again click on surat and under link group policy object you can see the link order is there now a sample gpo have a link order 1 gpo with the higher link order numbers means those that appears higher up the list takes priority over those with the lower number gpo you can link gpo to any site and domain in the same way that it's possible to link them to any ou so if you want to attach a gpo to a domain you just have to right click on your domain name and select link in existing gpo and then find your gpo that we want to attach to your domain and if you want to attach to a site that time you have to just right click on its site and select show sites then your site will be display over there now we just have a one default first site name let's select it click on ok and just uh, right click on default first site name and then select link an existing gpo and then select your gpo which you want to apply to that site so this is the way how we can create an uh, attach GPO to particular OU. Now let's test uh, the sample GPO which we set on our OU. And as you can see, we attach this GPO to Surat. And under Surat, we have a user name user1. And uh, if you click on a sample GPO, you can see this is attached with Surat OU and security filtering saying it will be applicable for authenticated users. That means this GPO will be applicable for all users groups and computer account which fall under this surat OU. now let's check the result on our client computer and uh, for this demonstration i have a one windows 10 computers this is a windows 10 vm and it is part of our domain let's log in with our user name user1 and let's specify his password and that's it we successfully log on to our windows 10 computer by using the account of user1 and as you can see here clock is not displaying let's right click on taskbar select property click on customize this will open a settings and under that click on turn system icons on or off and if you see we are not able to turn on the clock icon the simple reason is that is disabled from a group policy click on close click on close and let's run a command rsop.msc hit enter click on close right click on user configuration select property and under that you can see the group policy object which is applying on this user is sample gpo if you select display all gpos and filtering status select display scope of management and there you can see we have sample gpo that is applying and the scope of management is from ou surat dc is equal to my lab and this is equal to local if you click on close ok and expand editor to templates expand start menu and taskbar and then you can see the policy is applying on us is remove cloth from system notification area and if you see it is a nipple so this is the way how you can create a group policy object then you can apply it to a particular ou then you can test the result on your client computer so that's it for this video demonstration thank you for watching this video